I realised about six or seven years ago that I probably wasn't a cis woman. I was researching about menstruation and as I was doing that, I was getting increasingly annoyed at the use of the term woman and that forced me to think about why I was quite annoyed about that and it turned out it was because I'm not a woman. <laughs> Sometimes it can be quite difficult to navigate things that seem like they're quite small and inconsequential. Things like mistaken pronouns or a tendency to refer to the world in very binary terms. For example, this is the women's group, that's the men's group. Where do I fit into that? But it's not really something new for people to have what we might think of as non-standard gender expressions and experiences. It was a shift for me. I haven't always used they, them pronouns and it's taken me a long time to get to the point where I'm actually quite comfortable either correcting people or putting my pronouns out there. When people misgender me, it can raise a variety of different feelings. Sometimes if it's in passing and someone kind of understands they've made a mistake, it's quite easy to move on from. But then there are people who also unintentionally but persistently can't quite get it right. And it makes me worry what others might be going through, particularly thinking about how our students are feeling if they're encountering the same things that I am. I think it's really important that I put myself out there, even though it's quite scary, to show people that we exist, to show other people who might be struggling that there are people in the university that understand what they've been going through.